What? I'm sorry. <clears throat> what? We're filming, Bill? You gotta, you gotta tell me these things. <laughs> well, I guess we're going. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's nobody named Bill behind the camera. Tea time with me, Liesl. Welcome. Welcome everybody to another tea time with Lisa. I'm just finishing up a peanut butter lollipop with chocolate chips on it. <laughs> Definitely the thing you should be eating right before hosting something where you need to talk. That's a pro tip for you right there. Anyway, welcome to Tea Time with Liesl. I am in quite a mood um, because I've had a bit of caffeine and I had to work late today, but we're jazzy. We're jazzy. Um, Today, I am drinking. I um, took a page out of uh, good old John Epps, my dear father's book, and got a little uh, experimental with some sweet tea. So I made PG Tips English breakfast, and I infused it with peaches that I chopped up. I should have put the whole peach in it. <laughs> you can't taste that. I mean, it's still good tea, but you can't taste the peach. Unless you taste the peach. Anyway, I am drinking sweet tea today because although it is still quite warm outside and not close to winter at all, and definitely not ice skating season, I am doing um, a, an episode about an ice skater. No, it's not Tanya Harding or Nancy Kerrigan. And it's not Johnny Weir, although I love Johnny Weir and this outfit was inspired uh, by Johnny Weir and ice skating in general because blue I, ice, I don't know. Um, it's not about Tara Lipinski. It's not even about my absolute favorite. Oh my gosh. What is her, why do I always forget names? Michelle Kwan. Michelle Kwan I love. But this episode is actually about a an ice skater who I think gets wildly overlooked, Saria Bonali. So, who is Saria Bonali? Why have we overlooked her? And what, since when does Liesl know stuff about ice skating? Well, I have loved watching ice skating since I was a wee child. In fact, I really wanted to be an ice skater for a solid amount of time there. Um, which was definitely helped by the fact that my dear sweet mother knows literally like everything about ice skating. Like you watch the Olympics with my mom and before the, she'll be like, oh, that triple axel was under rotated. And then the announcers say the same thing. Like she's watched so much, it's, it's fantastic, it's awesome. So over this previous winter Olympics, when I was like doing a deep dive into ice skating, I, was like, oh my God, wait, who, who is this ice skater, Saria Bonley? And mom was like, oh yeah, psh, psh, yeah, I know about her. Saria Bonley was incredible. She did so much, she had been a gymnast before she started ice skating. And so she like had all of these cool transferable skills um, that crossed over to ice skating. So people are all like, ooh, the quads, people are doing quads now. She is the first person the first person to attempt a quad in any competition. So quads, a quad means that you take up, you take up and you have four completed rotations in the air. Uh, triple, you rotate three times. And now the different things that are like axel, lux, triple sow cow, those things are, have to do with your leg position when you, um, when you take off. An axle is the hardest one because that is, um, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it's the only one that you take off facing towards the way you're gonna spin. You're like, whoo, instead of like going backwards and like swinging your leg <laughs> like that. But look it up, I'm sure there's a better way to explain that than I just did. In, in figure skating now, they've got like harnesses where like you can practice the jumps and you'll be caught and you know, won't die and you have helmets and different things. But when they were practicing and learning um, 
stuff back in the day, they just tried it. And then we're like, well, that hurt when they fell. But she did quads just like jumping, which is crazy. She attempted a quad in competition, um, but they didn't count it because they said that it was under rotated. But I think that that's just freaking amazing because people now are like, woo! But like she did it and people just kind of forgot about that because people are racist and suck. Um, and but why? I don't know. She was amazing. She competed in three different Olympics and she never medaled, which is outrageous to me. The Nagano Olympics, um, she knew that she wasn't going to be able to medal again. To preface this, in... In 1976, the ISU, the International... The International Skating Union? <laughs> the ISU. I think internet... I th international... I don't know. A long story short, backflips were banned in the Olympics, in Olympic figure skating, because they're very dangerous. And, you know, flipping... Doing a backflip in general is crazy, but doing a backflip over a slab of ice is just very intense. The judges were not cool with her because she was super athletic. She was bringing this athleticism to figure skating, which there's always been this like debate between like the artistry and the athleticism because it's so pretty, but it's also like, you have to be real freaking strong to flip and twirl and all, all that stuff. Um, and she's talked about how, you know, for so long, people were like, oh, the ladies need to be pretty, the quads are for the men. Um, but she's like, no, why can't we do quads? Why can't we do backflips? And here's the thing that's just so cool. Backflips are outlawed. She's competing in the Nagano Olympics in 1998. She completes a backflip and lands on one leg. Like what? In the 20... What year was that? 2022 Olympics? People were like losing their minds because Nathan Chen did a backflip and landed on two legs during his free skate. She lands on one leg in competition. And because it's been like banned from people doing backflips, she doesn't get credit for it. She doesn't even medal. It blows, it blows my mind how incredible and athletic and awesome she is and people are just popping around and talking about Tanya Harding. Why would we only talk about how the judges were like, oh, Tanya made her own costume, so they weren't very nice to her, when like, literally, Surya Bodhali's doing backflips and landing on one foot and not meddling, and nobody's like, yeah, that's pretty freaking racist that nobody is giving her the credit that she deserves. Just, I just call it, I call it like I see it. I call it like I see it. If I was a judge, I would have been like, give her the gold. She's awesome. And I went too long in my life without knowing about her. And I don't want you guys to go too long in your lives without knowing about her either. Anyway, that's your information for the day. If you would like to talk about figure skating, call me up and I'll call my mom because she knows everything about figure skating. to something from the tin. This. So now we have to flip through this. This is uh, the used up uh, pad from my, I have a little purple notepad that I fits in my pocket and I take it around. Let's see what thought from my notepad and we're stopping now. All right. <clears throat> January 14th, 2023. Sometimes waiting is rest. Arrow. It, like a little, I drew a little arrow. Or is it always rest as long as you're paying attention? <laughs> what a smart little thing to say, past Liesel. Well done. Thank you for joining me and have a ship shape tippity top bloopity boop. <laughs> Wonderful rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheerio.